All right guys, if there's one thing we're known for, it's our lap pull downs. We have a how to lap pull down video that's almost at a million views right now. So we figured we'd make these three best variations for muscle gain. That video had some variations, but here we're gonna show you our top three that we utilize in most back workouts to really grow our back. First and foremost guys, plain and simple, is the single arm cable lap pull down. A lot of people don't know that you can do this, but you can just go ahead Put a simple cable, like you know, the little attachment, the handheld attachment, onto the lat pull down on either side. Do it one at a time and really focus on that contraction. While doing this, if you guys ever have imbalances in your body where one side's stronger and one side's bigger, I really recommend moving to all single arm movements. So even the lat pull down, it shows you you can do things like that. You can avoid T bar row by doing single arm dumbbell row. There's always opportunities to balance out your body. And if you guys are really wanting to work on aesthetics and symmetry, I really recommend utilizing this exercise in your routine. Okay, guys, in exercise number two, this is a straight arm pull down. This is a fantastic exercise for really firing up those lats and really isolating them. However, a lot of people don't do it properly. We do have a full form video, but I'll just quickly go over it. You wanna have a slight bend in the elbow, as you guys see on the screen here. You pull all the way down, and the key is you kinda thrust through to really get more activation in the actual lower lat area. This is a fantastic exercise if utilized properly, so make sure to add them into your routine as a variation. Next one, guys, is wide grip reverse the lat pull down. Kyle hates this exercise, I personally love it. I got this from Jay Cutler, he swears by this for lower back development, and I would swear the same, guys, it's incredible. So it's just a wide grip reverse, the only downside is if you have wrist issues, I would avoid this one, because it puts a lot of tension on the wrist, but also puts a lot of tension on that lower back. So you gotta pick your poison here, guys, but if it's something you can try, I really recommend it. it really helps develop that lower back, it's something I've utilized for a long time, and it just allows you to really focus on squeezing the lower latissimus dorsi region, like I said, that lower back, kind of just really pushing all the, the force of the movement down to your lower back there so you can help develop that lower back. I know that's another thing a lot of people want. It's easy to develop a big upper back, but how do you get a girthy, strong lower back, keep you secure and keep you away from injury? If you guys have bad wrists and you can't do this, just go to the simple close grip, lat pull down. It's gonna be the same thing, reverse grip in the middle, and that's really gonna help strengthen your middle back. This is gonna really develop the rhomboids, develop the traps, develop that latissimus, kind of like that middle region, you know, the girthy middle part of your back. So I recommend using a mixture of both of them, and that's gonna help you out a ton. Okay guys, and my personal favorite is the actual T-bar row. I just feel like you can overload the weight so much more. Um, you kind of get a bit more torque and turn it into a bit of a rowing exercise. You can lean back a tiny bit more, pull it more into your chest, and it's biomechanically your strongest grip, which allows you to actually lift more weight. So with that being said, I like to kind of do it as a little bit of a burnout after the actual lap pull down, so I highly recommend trying this variation. Number five, guys, is the alternating lap pull down. This thing is a beast. I'm serious, you have to incorporate this into your training. It's cool because I like to think of it as kind of like you're scraping one lap down while balancing with the other. So you start here, you'll have, like you guys can see, I have my one arm up. I'm scraping that other lat down while keeping this one under control. Then when I bring this up, I come scrape this one down and it's like that single arm movement. We're gonna get a ton of work there in the lat. We're also having to stabilize with the other arm. So it's keeping both arms in the movement. Uh, I'd recommend going really light. Doing this as a burnout, I'll do about 30 reps as a burnout and it just kills your back. It's the nail in the coffin, the nail of this video. And I really, really, really recommend this more than like majority of exercise I recommend. So that'd be like, 11 out of 4 on my scale of 1 to 10. LOL! Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Smash the like button and get your free form guide. First link in the description below with all of these exercises in there. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.